This is the story about how we all got to where we are now. I started a cosplay group at 15 with my sibling in 2010. Jumping to 2017, my dad got me, my sibling, and a mom a rental house while he worked from far away. My mom was never home because she stayed with my dad. So they were okay with roommates, but that was before Sparky came along. Sparky had already been in my cosplay group for a little bit. She was really talented at makeup and passionate. But her living situation got really bad. I mean really bad. She wasn't going to survive it. She didn't have anywhere to go. I took her to come live at my place. I had a room free in my big house. I told my parents that I'd move out if they didn't let her stay. It's not like it would affect them, but this caused resentment. My dad said, you just want another prop for your videos. Sparky understood me. I was lonely and struggling. She saw when I was hurting, overextending myself, and when I was being taken advantage of. She saw right through me and was there for me unlike anyone I had ever met. We fell in love. We hadn't known each other for very long, but we felt like we had known each other for years. For a while, everyone got along really well, but there was something building behind the scenes. Sparky was getting too close for some people's liking. Sparky was ostracized at home. My sibling acted out. One day, my dad came home and saw his family structure crumbling. He fixed his icy gaze on us. All hell broke loose. He said Sparky poisoned me, that I was nothing without my sibling. Meanwhile, my sibling only pointed fingers at me. So I packed Sparky and I up, we escaped, and I disowned my family. We got an apartment together as a couple in December 2019. COVID-19 hit soon after you moved in. Everyone was staying home watching our videos. Our channel soared. Thanks to our viewers, we were able to escape and stay safe. Then we got closer to Mira. Mira has been in my cosplay group since the beginning. They've always been my trusted friend. We did lots of videos together and they did really well. The three of us made a great team and we had a lot of fun. One day they brought their boyfriend over and we all realized he was cheating. Mira needed to make some big changes and quick. We looked into getting a place for all three of us. As we dreamed up lots of places, we toured a luxury apartment complex on a whim. As we toured, we realized we could afford it. Mira, Sparky, and I moved together in September 2020. We did some amazing videos and our mental health started to improve. It was amazing, but our team of three was missing a fourth. Jamie had been in our group already for a little while after Sparky recruited them. Jamie and Sparky had been best friends since high school. We also wanted Square One Cosplay to be fully professional. That basically means we were doing it for a living. Jamie was the perfect fit, as they were serious about it. However, Jamie lived two hours away. They had a full-time management job at a grocery store. Jamie wasn't doing well. They wanted so badly to escape and do what they loved. We got a three-bedroom apartment so that we could have a craft room, and that meant we had an extra room for Jamie. But they were scared to leave everything and pursue their dream. Jamie had posted on their Instagram story for the fifth time, someone come kidnap me. So we did. We drove two hours in the middle of the night and we had a big talk about Jamie's future. Jamie made the decision to do what they love and the rest of us couldn't be happier they did. We all care so deeply about what we do and create. We're living our dreams. Our channel name Square One Cosplay is a reminder to always remember where you started at Square One. When I began my journey, I was so excited to make videos having fun with my friends. I wanted to share that joy with the world. That resonated with people. People like you. I always remember having fans cheering us on. You are my square one. I couldn't have gotten here without you. None of us could, so thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Hopefully we can inspire others to do the same. Go follow your dreams. Do what you love. Fight for it if you have to. See you in the next one. Be there and be square.